of those things. Hi, Sam. Hello, Ryder. Welcome back to Sam Node. Happy to be here. I've adjusted my connection to your implant. The headache you experienced before shouldn't reoccur. That'd be nice. Yeah, what was that about? You said we need to discuss something confidential. You should know certain facts before you leave on your expedition. It seemed best we speak alone. Okay, wait. So, what is it that you want to tell me that the other people shouldn't know before going on the expedition? I don't understand the need for secrecy. Your father felt it was for the best. What was he trying to hide? My true capabilities. Alec overrode the implant safety protocols. It allows me unrestricted access to the Pathfinder's physiology. And that's... me, now. And only you. I can act as a force multiplier, dramatically enhancing your motor and neural skills when required. Fucking knew it was Alec called them profiles. They provide unique, tactical augmentation to your Your cheating. father preferred to keep this fact to himself. Yeah, it sounds like something a cheater would do. Knew it. Keeping things like this secret just makes everyone suspicious. Like you're up to something. Alec didn't think others would understand. He viewed it as a symbiotic relationship, benefiting us both. What do you get out of this? Though I'm artificial in design, I am fully sentient. Far beyond what even the initiative understands. I don't follow. You're an AI. So what's different? I am a new form of AI, drawing directly from the human experience. Your implant is my window into the world. What the hell did Mama say again? Hmm. There's something about drafts. Windows. Letting the devil in. Ah, shit. I don't know. <clears throat> but the human's still in charge, right? Of course. I was never intended to supplant the Pathfinder, only to support and enhance your abilities. Good to hear. So what's the plan? I find myself in an unusual position. Though I had access to your father's experiences, there is a gap in my understanding. How so? He placed a block on portions of my memory array. Why? Perhaps so, when you asked me what his plan was, I wouldn't know. <sighs> and Dad strikes again. But not without recourse. The further you explore as a Pathfinder, the more blocks will be removed. Perhaps you should begin in your father's quarters. In the meantime, unless you have more questions, your new ship awaits. Thanks. Now that, that just sounds like a crazy game of hide-and-seek. Right, well, I guess it's time to... Get to the going. Where was I going? Ah, shit. Sam, I'm fucking lost again. All right. Uh, right. <clears throat> yes. All right. Onward. Yes, I know. There you are. Yes. Hope the others haven't been giving you a hard time. Of course There's a lot have. that needs doing. Yeah, I know. At least with the Hyperion hooked up and feeding us power, my team and I can get more work done. Again, you are super welcome. I noticed there aren't a lot of Krogan around. You haven't spoken to number eight yet, have you? Number eight? Tan. Ask him why most of my people left. He'll have opinions. I can tell you this much. When the mutiny happened, a deal was made. My clan were supposed to settle matters and, in return, get more say in the initiative. Why do you call Tan Eight? Because he was eighth in line to take over the Andromeda Initiative. So that's super cool. I like to remind him of that now and then. Not a girl. Keep him humble. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <clears throat> Did the deal go through? The clan held up their part, but Tan had a meltdown when he found out we wanted more say around here. Then Addison's assistant, Spender, pretended he never made the deal in the first place. It was a mess, but I don't blame my people for walking out. We're done being used. God damn, that suit is nice and tight in and around the... <clears throat> okay, wait, uh, what? Yeah. Right. The genophage. A little gift to our people from the Solarians thousands of years ago. That sterility virus they infected us with left most of our children stillborn. Only one in a thousand survive. Fucking geckos. What kind of work do you do as superintendent? I was part of the team that originally designed and built this place. 
I keep the station functional, or as functional as possible, considering. Yeah, you know what? Uh, I was on that team too. <sighs> Did a whole lot of <clears throat> building stuff. <clears throat> it's not important. Nothing more for now. Later. All right, what happened? To who? To whom? And your goddamn father. Excuse the Sorry, fuck out of you. Sorry, my face is tired from dealing with everything. And right now, I just want to know what happened with Alex. I don't want to get into it. Things went wrong. And now I'm the one you have to deal with. Alec Ryder wouldn't accept that kind of ultimatum. Damned if I will. We'd never have left home if we... <sighs> Not home. The Milky Way. This is home. This mess. We don't have a lot of options, Ryder. Maybe you'll prove your father right. Fucking After 14 it. months of failed colonization, forgive me if I don't hold my breath. Yeah, yeah, you may as well not even bother. You called my father Alec. No one does that. A lot of us joined the initiative because of his vision. What he shared of it, anyway. Excuse me, Director Addison. Ryder? It's Pathfinder. Ryder, we're starving here. If we don't get a foundation of outposts to feed the initiative, we might as well be 600 years dead. Alec promised a lot. None of it panned out. That's what you're up against. Why people won't trust you. Why I don't trust you. Prove me wrong. Uh, yeah, okay, that's fine, but <clears throat> even until I do, or, you know, if I don't, uh, the official title is still Pathfinder, if you please. Thank you. Writer, you may have a less than flattering view of me, but I want to express my condolences for your father. I appreciate it. I didn't know him very well, Aren't although I understand he played a key role in planning the initiative. I'm sure he'd be concerned that we still have several arcs missing. Yeah, and there it is, the angle that you were going to find. <sighs> oh my god, I hate your face so much. They're as much a part of the initiative as the human arc. We'll find them. We have to. Tens of thousands of colonists are unaccounted for. It paints the initiative in an unflattering light. Did you have some other business? Yeah, because you're doing a super good job of painting it in a flattering light. <clears throat> oh, Dan. Or should I call you number eight? Of course, as you pointed out, we need each other. Our futures depend on each other's success. God damn it. It's not right. It's not fair. What's wrong? Oh my, you're... My husband. He's locked up and slated for exile for a crime he didn't commit. Exile, huh? Guess it wasn't for having a hand in the cookie jar. They say it's murder. They're calling him the first murderer in Andromeda, but the dead man was his friend. He wouldn't have. There are witnesses and evidence, but it's all circumstantial. At worst, it was an accident. His name is Nilkin Rensis. He could give you the details if you were willing to speak with him. Please. Uh, fine. I'd be happy to. Oh, thank you. I'm sure the Jailer will allow you a visit. Please, tell Milken I love him. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna say it in those words. <clears throat> a Pathfinder, huh? They called in the big guns to exile Andromeda's first murderer. <laughs> as much as I'd love that about now. Uh, no, actually, your wife sent me, and she's worried. Also said something about something she wanted me to tell you. I'm not gonna tell you though. <clears throat> no hard feelings. Please try to understand. <laughs> uh, us people on the outside still have the thing called pride to worry about. <clears throat> I'm not here to exile you. I told your wife I'd look into things. At this point, it's too late. They found me guilty. 
Why don't you tell me what happened? I was part of the futile effort to set up a colony on Eos. We were on our last legs, overrun by hostiles, our leader dead. The security chief, Reynolds, my friend, he refused to call for evacuation. I argued with him. Everyone saw. So when he was killed, people assumed you did it? For good reason. He ordered us to regroup and counterattack. We were moving through a sandstorm. I saw movement, thought it was the cat, and... I... I guess I panicked and fired. A witness saw the chief's chest explode. Sounds like an accident. That's what I told them. But I was enraged when we argued. There's a recording. It's, it's ugly. Everyone's certain I did it on purpose so we could evacuate. Only my word otherwise. I'll check out the evidence. Maybe something doesn't add up. It would be nice to have someone with an open mind looking at it. You're a Pathfinder. I'm sure Kandros would give you access. Maybe there's still hope. <laughs> Don't hold your breath. I'll get to Eos eventually and uh, try to look into it for you then. Until then, uh, sleep tight. And speaking of sleeping, goddamn, where are the beds around here? <clears throat> uh, chair, yes. <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse me. 